Right, here we are again, dad and lad. We've got this uh, uh, Hyundai rotavator in today and it's got a governor spring problem. So basically what's actually happening is, obviously off, it's down like that, and you knock it up like that, guys. It's just absolutely revving its knackers off. And we don't want that, so uh, it's not good for the machine. So we're gonna fix this problem today, guys. Let's start off, trusty old 10 mil, just like last time, guys. I fucking love these 10 mils, you know. Honestly. Whip that off there like that. That's one. I'm whipping up that other one off, guys. Like that. I mean, I tried searching on YouTube myself, guys, for a solution on these, you know, and the, the amount of people that actually have the governor spring problems for these rotavators is absolutely unreal. And there's not nobody out there, guys, that can actually tell me what the uh, problem is. And I mean, it's a Hyundai HTY 140cc. It is, guys. Oh, it's, got a, uh, it's got a split petrol cap and all, my dad just noticed. I'll get the uh, model number in, guys, and I'll show you the model number, and and uh, hopefully we can... So here we are, guys, look. HYT140, self-propelled, 139cc rotivator, guys. If you can see that, yeah, let me know in the comment section below, and let me know what, what you guys think on these. But let's fix the governor today. Trusty old uh, plastic tub. Use that for everything, just popping parts in there, guys. Absolutely amazing for popping parts in there, are. That just pops off there, guys. Like that, nice and simple. Now, I know these are quite tricky to get off. We're just gonna price it up like that. That's a pull start mechanism, nice and easy. The plastic charade, guys, just pops off like that. Mm. So we're gonna have a look at the governor springs. So what's actually happening is, this being back like that, that's back and it's putting too much throttle on it, so it's actually causing it to rev its knackers off. So we just need to take it slightly forward a little bit, just on that spring there like that. So when we start it, guys, it's not actually revving its knackers off. I mean, we've got another one in, in Shed and Oil, and we had the same problem with that, but we've managed to fix the problem, guys. It's so easy, it's simple. I want to show you how we fix it today. Right, guys, welcome back to uh, Dad and Lad. So, assembling the governess spring. So first things first, guys, you see this little spring just on this little O-ring here? You're gonna pop that up there like that. It's so simple, guys, honestly. You just wanna twist it around like that. And see that, as I was telling you, that it's obviously when it's pushed back like that, it's, it's on full throttle. I, I don't want that, guys. I want it to be pulled forward like that. So it's uh, in tick over mode. So basically, switch that spring from, from there, off of there, into there like that, guys. Look at that, eh? Absolutely unreal. And, and that is the problem I've been having with these. But uh, that is how you fix them, guys. And basically what you do from there is there's a little winding screw just here. I don't know if you can see it. It's uh, basically like a throttle winder and uh, it, it can deteriorate on how much, um, how much throttle it actually wants. So if you wind it in, it'll whack it up. If you wind it out, it'll uh, wind it down. Obviously, we're gonna um, try this machine now, guys, and we're obviously gonna alter this uh, little tiny screw down here and get it just so it's ticked over just fine. Because these machines don't actually well, they don't actually take a lot of um, revving, to be honest with you. Everything, it's all done by itself. You let the machine do the work. Don't let them, uh, don't let you do the work for the machine, guys. These do it all for themselves. But uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe. And uh, also smash that subscribe button, guys. And, uh, and I'll see you on my next one. All right, guys. Starting the rotivator after fixing the governor problem. So uh, first things first guys, you want to knock the choke up like that. Couple on the primer. Wow, just look at that guys, absolutely amazing that. Absolutely bob on that guys.
that guys is absolutely running sweet as a nut guys that let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and that guys is how you fix a high hyundai hty 140 governor spring on the rotavator don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and i'll see you on my next one